Hi, in this video, I shall be exploring rheumatoid arthritis, the symptoms, the risk factors, and the four stages of rheumatoid arthritis and more. So I shall start by explaining a little about rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is different from osteoarthritis, where it is a wear and tear of the joints. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disorder that attacks your immune system especially your joints. This means that the body cannot fight off bacteria or viruses. Instead, it attacks your healthy tissue lining, which covers the joints, called the synovium. As a result, it is causing swelling and painful joints. Rheumatoid arthritis is also called an autoimmune disorder that mainly attacks your joints. The immune system mistakenly attacks its own tissues that surrounds the joint called the synovium. The disease mainly affects small joints like the hands and feet, but it can also attack other joints such as wrists, elbows, knees, ankles, and shoulders. Research does not understand the causes of rheumatoid arthritis, but it is believed to involve a combination of genetic, environmental, and hormonal factors. First of all, the symptoms affect hands and wrists, then it travels through your body attacking the big joints such as your shoulders, elbows, and cervical spine. But in some cases, it can affect your inner ear. Symptoms can be your joints feeling tender, or they may become swollen, stiff, red-looking and warm to the touch. Also, if you touch the joint, it may feel spongy. Other symptoms could be feeling fatigued and have a fever, you could have sudden weight loss and a flu-like symptom, your movement may decrease, you may be struggling to do simple tasks, such as opening a jar. You could have symptoms on your skin, in your eyes, or your organs such as liver, kidney or heart, even your saliva glands may be attacked as well as your bone marrow and blood vessels. In severe cases your joints can be disfigured, but they can also be in remission where the swelling and pain fade and disappear. Or it will come and go. There are many risk factors that goes with rheumatoid arthritis such as hereditary or your lifestyle, for example if you smoke, you should stop as this is the most significant health risk factor. You are more likely to develop this disease if you are a woman. Another risk factor is if you are overweight or obese. This is because you are putting more pressure on your body. If your rheumatoid arthritis becomes chronic you may develop nodules, which are firm bumps of tissue that occur around the pressure points. The nodules could include around your heart and lungs. Also, when you develop this disease, you may have carpal tunnel syndrome, which is around your wrists, causing inflammation and can compress the nerve that assists most of your hand and finger. Rheumatoid arthritis can also cause increased risk of heart problems such as hardened and block arteries, and lung problems like scarring of the lung tissues that leads to shortened of breath. The last complication is lymphoma. This is an increased risk of a group of blood cancer in the lymph system. Rheumatoid arthritis has four stages of development, which include Stage 1. This is the early stage, you will feel joint pain. Stiffness, swelling. The joint tissue or lining called synovium is inflamed. Stage 2 is the moderate stage, this is where the synovium increases, and inflammation causes damage to the joint cartilage. At this stage you may experience pain, and the range of motion is limited. Stage 3, at this stage your symptoms become severe, and the damage extends further than the cartilage also the bones. At this stage the cushioned joint have disappeared and the bones will rub together, and you will experience more pain and swelling with more loss of movement. You will hear crunching and cracking when you move. The final stage, stage 4. At this stage your joints no longer work. The joints become destroyed and fused together, called ankylosis. These four stages may develop over several years, or it may have gone into remission. This means that you could have no or little symptoms and no antibodies found in blood tests, and it lasts for more than a few months. You can help yourself by getting plenty of rest, be more active by doing low-impact exercises, like swimming, walking, cycling or gentle aerobics. Using heat or cold therapy. 
Using a heat pack can help to reduce the pains as it reduces the stiffness of the joint, and an ice pack should be used to reduce the inflammation by using a cold compress on the area. You can also try massage therapy or acupuncture, but you must consult with your doctor before doing anything new. And you must find a certified acupuncture or massage salon. I tried acupuncture for several months, but, as I said earlier you should go and see a reputable person, and it got too expensive. Supplements are also good for you like omega-3, or sprinkle some herbs on your dishes to make them taste better. But again, you should consult with your doctor, as some herbs can have an adverse effect with your medication. In conclusion, rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic autoimmune disorder that mainly affect your joints. The symptoms could be inflammation, pain, and swelling in the joints, primarily affecting multiple joints symmetrically. It can lead to joint damage, disability, and systemic complications if left untreated. Diagnosis involves a combination of medical history, physical examination, blood tests, and imaging studies. The treatment aims to reduce inflammation, relieve pain, and prevent joint damage through medications, physical therapy, lifestyle modifications, and sometimes surgery. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, then please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to follow my channel. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. I am not a medical professional, and this video is for information only. If you have any worries, you should consult your doctor. I hope this video has helped, and good luck.